All right, I'm back. Courier show for Cubs Out Loud talked about landscape and relationships, forgiveness. Also learned wearing headphones all day makes me tired. Anyways. The one thing I was also doing uh, between times, I was uh, finish up Ace or the Current, so I can fly everywhere but the locks where we are. I only got the one area of the cart. I'm going to get that later. Do some research. It's best just to do the main story quest first and get through 4.0 before uh, getting the flying. So, uh, But I think I can pick up some of the uh, Ethan Carter quests quickly. Just so I kind of have them on hand. If I run into a place where I can, like, do them along the way as I'm going to do them. How close am I to the end again? You're at the resident. Oh my gosh. Last four quests. But th I think these are long quests. So. I think I can't do the these quests. I don't think I can turn in these quests on a higher level. But this traveling part, I'm going to try to do at my cur at uh, lower level just to kind of get the uh, exploration experience points. It's not much, but it adds up. This looks like as good a place as any. Here you dive into the briny deep. Here you dive into the briny deep. Rilanji, what are you doing here? Master Alphano informed me of your plan, and thus did I hasten to your side. When Mistress Alize unfolded to me the tale of her defeat, I was much intrigued by the apparent ease in which Fordola, a therefore unexpected warrior, he defied my lady's every attempt to do her harm. After some few days of deliberation, I subsequently contrived that I believed to be a solution to the problem with her preen preternatural pre mm, precedence. "'Twas in hopes of furnishing you with the fruits of my labor that I came." Huh? Wait. Wait, isn't that Umbrita's? Her etheric siphon formed the basis of my design. Should my hypothesis prove correct, you need but activate it in her presence. To say, say more would endanger the plan, for ignorance is your shield.
It was Mubrita's time. It is not yours, my friend. May you ever walk in the light of the crystal and return. We will, for you and for her. Right, I'm going in. Follow me. Aha! There's Lise floating in the tunnel. The tunnel that leads east. Thancred's already gone ahead. Maybe it's... That's how it works. I like to think it's just a weird muffled version of our regular speech. Just muffled. Back over in her head. Not, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, let me get in quarter. I'm all wet. Yeah, we get this whole section, so I'm just going to switch that off and get back to Monk. Um, e through here. Phew, that was fun. Yes, yes, tremendous fun. Who needs a beastman's blessing anyway? I can't believe you managed to hold your breath the entire time. It felt like you were down there for hours. Anyway, it's time we let our friends in. Once we head up these stairs, we'll need to make our way to the main gates, which are somewhere to the west of here. Forgive me for stating the obvious, but it bears repeating that until we open the gates, we three are on our own. It would be our best interest to avoid gods and easily startle small folk. Obviously. But once our guests have arrived, we'll be free to head towards the research facility where a cryo is being held as loudly as we'd like. Since we've been here before, will you lead the way? Of course. But I will... Move quickly, so see that you do not fall behind. Nothing left to say, then. Let's get to it. Time for the monks and rogues. Actually, who knows? I might, I might want to go a little bit faster, at least. The the fist of wind is not... It's not great. <laughs> Honestly, improvement would be to take this of wind and just bake that into the, to the class. Make it a trait, a passive trait. Because it's like 5% movement speed. It's not much. It, it, it It's barely even noticeable. You can sprint as much faster, shoulder tackle to, to close gap as much faster than fists of wind. It's barely noticeable. Fist of Fire and uh, Fist of Earth is a slight difference because it deals with damage and stuff. Movement speed isn't as an essential sort of thing. Personal opinion, of course. You could call, call the trait Step of the Wind, maybe. Anyways. 
In we go. It's interesting music selection. Our friends are ready and eager to engage the Imperials. Let's leave it to them and head for the facility. There, now they're all dotted up. I oh, reckon you lot would come, but I didn't think you'd have the nerve to break the bloody doors down. 
Make no difference to me though, Tom, to die. All right, this is one of those times when you want to watch for for instructions. I can read your every move. She gets the LB3, because of course we don't get the LB3. I will not- 
Oh, but you will! Without your tricks, you're nothing! Conrad, Mefrid, your own comrades! I should kill you here and now for what you did! But there's no place for that kind of justice here. Not in my Alamigo. Oh, how very bloody noble of you. <sighs> or you'll pardon me my sins, will you? After you and your freedom fighters come and tear down everything we've worked so hard to build, we were fighting for our people's freedom. There's no freedom in that! Now, my friend! Touching as this moment is, it will have to wait. We should rejoin the main force at once. Lise! I'm taking her back with us, alive. She's going to answer for what she's done. <laughs> Listen to you, talking like you've already won. Xenos is gonna tear you apart. He commands a power. Echoing that of the Icons. What are you talking about? The Hunt, you stupid cow. I'm talking about the Hunt! He said you'd come. And here you are, his willing prey. You and your friends are dead. Just like mine. And all our misery, all our sacrifice, it was all for naught! No! You're gonna live long enough to see us win our freedom. I promise you that. May I live a thousand years. Interrogations can wait. Let us be off. See, I knew there was some VO. I think we got her down for some VO, or less VO you now. We're relieved to have finally found her, though our greatest... Greatest challenges yet lie ahead. On the eve of this final battle, I find myself overcome with joy. We should not, <clears throat> we could not have saved her without everyone's help. Thank you, Lise, Oriange, and of course you. And yes, there's, there is still much more to be done. It would be more inter I should be more interested to learn the meaning of Fordola's ominous words, for one. This is gone to deliver Fodola into the custody of the Alliance, leaving Monago and her men to hold the residential district inside ready. Once the Alliance has breached the main gates and commenced their assault, the resistance forces will push through the entrance here and join the fray. In that case, I will remain here and search for 
My search for Kral took me into the city proper, and my familiarity with their defenses may prove useful to the resistance. Understood. I shall instruct our involved in his unit to render support as well. They were tasked with securing the Aetherite, as I recall, with me, Eskus. Ooh, you mean lag. So, how are you doing? Well, this is no fun. I'm going to try logging out. Logging back in. Woof. 
52 player queue. This could take a moment. There, where I need to go is right there. God's cryo, so good to see you. I fed the worst. It wasn't your fault. You saved me, all of you. Thank you. <clears throat> we'll be departing shortly for Porsche Pretoria to rejoin the main host. I'm involved. I would have your unit remain here with Thancred that you might support the resistance troops in the coming battle. Understood. We won't let you down. I trust you will refrain from doing anything I would not. You are far too, uh, far too young to die. Right, right. No noble sacrifices. Got it. And as it goes, Cryo, let us be off then. The work is its own reward, General. I must say, however, that Fordola's claims were not a little disturbing. What manner of power could Xenos have acquired that might equal an icon? Might she speak of our missing Omega? Very possibly. The Empire's fondness for comparable Alagon technologies is exceedingly well documented. Have we made any progress with our own investigation? None. The search goes on in earnest, but Sid has thus far found nothing of note. Mayhap the Galleons beat us to it. If they were working desperately to repair the machine, that might explain their decision to remain within their walls. Ah, Lise. I trust you surrendered Fordola into custody without incident. We were just discussing the Pilus's claims. About Xenos and his newfound powers. She hasn't said a word on the subject since we rescued Kryle. Even when the interrogator asked nicely. Mayhap I can offer some insight into her claims. Or at least into the facility and the experiments they conducted during my time there. Though my memories of the period are somewhat muddled, there are a few things I remember with painful clarity. Thancred told us only that Fordola had undergone some manner of treatment. Yes. It is a place wholly dedicated to the creation of enhanced beings, whom they refer to as the Resonant. As I understand it, the process aims to imbue a test subject with the qualities of an individual with demonstrated magical aptitude. This entails... 
This entails the mechanical extraction and transfusion of some manner of primordial essence. So that's how Fordola improved so fast. I knew there had to be something. She wasn't half as strong or quick to predict my attacks when we first met. If it weren't for Oriange's siphon thingy, I really don't think we'd have beaten her. My humble scheme asked far more in the execution than it required in the conception, I do assure thee. Oh, you've got to stop doing that. <laughs> in calling upon Lady Alizé after her defeat, I was most intrigued to learn of the apparent effortlessness with which Fordola countered her attacks. Twas as if she knew the blade's destination ere its journey began. A most impressive feat under any circumstances, but an almost miraculous one when considered in the context of Fordola's unfamiliarity with my lady's arts. After much deliberation, I surmise that Fordola may be possessed of a preternatural ability to divine meaning from the fluctuations of an individual's ether and to instinctively react. To employ a metaphor, one might say that she was attuned to the whispers of my lady Alizé's soul. Wait, have you not just described a manifestation of the Echo? I had no conclusive proof. The available anecdotal evidence suggested only that Fordola was uncommonly sensitive to etheric fluctuations, and was this which led me to develop my stratagem. I would fashion a device with the capacity to generate a massive disruption in the surrounding ether. If, as I suspected, Fordola's senses were indeed questing for the most minor of oscillations, the shock of exposure to a more amplitudinous etheric waveform would be akin to a debilitating bout of ether sickness. How ingenious. I note that the success of your plan hinged on your device's wielder remaining ignorant of its purpose, lest Fordola divine your intent. Indeed so, Master Alfino. All things considered, twas a most fortuitous outcome. That's putting it mildly. In any event, if Uriange is correct, that would mean these resonant have been granted the power of the Echo via artificial means. A sobering thought, to say the least, and one which makes me wonder what else Xenos has in store. Whatever the Viceroy's newfound powers, I know of none better equipped to face him. And face him you must, for there is now but one path forward, and it leads straight to Alamigo. And it's not as if we came unprepared. We've got all our friends and allies fighting for the same thing, Honestly, right now, I feel like we could take on anyone and win. And I mean anyone. Ashen? Ashen's for the weak. Victory is good as ours. Exactly. Oh, I wouldn't want to be in Xenos' boots. Not with the likes of us coming to get him. Right. I'd best get back to the residential district. Thancred and the resistance forces are waiting. It is time we join the main host. Kryl, in light of your recent ordeal, might I suggest that you remain with the rear guard for now? Oh, if you insist. Just this once. I assume that's more of... Yeah, I was kind of going to do that anyways. <laughs> if I may, General, is there Alt Esagos and I can do to assist with final preparations? I'm glad you asked. Pippin informed me moments ago that all forces are in position and are ready to commence the assault. Not for remains, but to notify the Alliance commanders. If you have no objections, I'd be glad to have you do the honors, Esagos. You were instrumental in the succession of Operation Archon. You helped bring the end of the Dragon Song War. You are the hero to the people and a symbol of hope. Some might judge it as an empty gesture or worse, a waste of your talents, but I know it must mean much to everyone here. That is definitely not Robin's voice.
I'm done fucking with the game. All right. Ha! That you would be the one to come to me with word. By the fury, it is good to see, my friend. You, who stood with us in our direst hour, will ever be an inspiration to my countrymen and to me. Though Ishgard's debt has never, can never be repaid, it is my hope that our deeds this day shall go some small way to redressing the balance. Well, it's ready. Very well. Though many will fall in the coming battle, how many sh more shall know liberty for their sacrifice? There is time for peace and a time for war. Even the matron understands us. We who have received the furs and the elemental blessings go now to stand for Eosa, Orzia, and her children. And uh, I'm just, I will say goodbye with the serpent salute. And sir, hey, your my friend's Elga's uh, uh, husband, are you not? I'm sure he's very excited that you're here. Uh, every it's time then. It's time then. Though this is not my theater of choice, we will play our part. Our cannons care not either way. That battery has sunk enough she ships to fill a fleet. Tis not, tis not like to be bested by a gate. So Raubon is the leader of the Immortal Flames, but because he's originally from Alamigo, he is basically taken up as the head of the Alliance forces. I mean, it's his homeland that they're essentially fighting for, so. It is done then. Thank you, Vesagos, for humoring an old bull. Metals from Ada and Ishgardian forces are in position, General. Resistance forces in the Alamedian court are ready at awaiting your signal. Not left to do but the deed itself. Right then, I must go to my men and lead the first charge through the breach. Then we shall head to the front. Pippin has command of our artillery outside the gate. He will, he will not be hard to find. Ah, and before we go, I have a final favor to ask. Give this to my son. You will understand. Head cannon. Pippin and I are boyfriends, if not hu husbands by this time. Been a few years. I may be like, we we have this separation of which one I did. It's like Pippin's in Immortal Flames, but me being in the Immortal Flames and having a relationship gets a little weird. So, but you know, uh, the, the twin adder kind of went along. I I, I felt was a good, good group. Heck, I like all of them. So I went twin adder. So technically, I'm a second lieutenant of the twin adder, right? See, he's, he's, profile. Second, second Serpent Lieutenant. And it really need to work on getting that to First Lieutenant and getting that to Captain. Long story, or long ways to go on that. But beside the point. Now this, he's basically asking Pippin's husband to give him a special gift. Trust me, it's a special gift.
The Conservant Lieutenant Esigo Swinsmall reporting to duty. Oh. Dad gave it, asked me to give you this. Let's go, Alpha Dome. Hmm, what has he got there? I'm turning this up because I'm not sure if there's things. By the 12th, this, this is Tizona. The Bull of Alamigo's legendary sword, forged from two cursed blades. This sword is a symbol of everything my father fought to achieve. A weapon claimed by the blood sands and with it fortune and glory. And let me turn it down because it's not the end. Boy, its flames consumed the unworthy and by fire was he would warn. That he should bequeath it to me now to carry on his legacy. Well, I shall endeavor to deserve it, but I'll be damned if this is his final battle. Once we begin, there is no respite until it's over. Are you ready, my friends? Very well. Brace yourselves. It'll be quite a spectre. Vice Marshal, Vice Marshal, pillar unit approaching from the north. Aiming to destroy the artillery, are they? How many? Total numbers unconfirmed. At least one squ squadron. But sir, the wolfman. Frey Domate? Hey, bloody hell, that's all we need. Call up the blood swarm. Tell them to make ready. Marshal Torben, wait. These wolfmen of whom you speak, uh, speak hail from Doma. They are coerced by fighting for the Empire. Speared away to a foreign land and told that, that if they disobey, the lives of their kin would be forfeit. But their homeland has been liberated. They have no reason to continue serving their imperial masters. Ere we, you engage them in battle, I beseech you grant us a moment to go and attempt to convince them to lay down their arms. I am loath to give our enemy more time to prepare, but the, there is a chance that this conflict may be avoided. I suppose we must take it. Go then, and be quick. We will, Vice Marshal. With me, yes, ghost. Don't worry, honey. You won't regret this. Think. Up. All Shaysa. Any time. We will wait here for the Lupin to arrive. Seal yourself, friend. Though I hope to resolve this without resorting to violence, it would seem wise to prepare for the worst. Let's do it. We come, as it goes. You, clear the road! Honorable warriors of Doma, my name is Alphano Levieux, and I come before you with news of great import. Silence, boy! You stand upon a battlefield. Be gone or be cut down. Doma is free. Lord Hien has returned and driven Yatsuyu and the Imperials from their lands. We, are, we were there. We helped them. There is no need for you to fight for Zeros. Lord Hien is dead. You are a liar. 
What could a boy such as you do against a magitech? Throw stones and spit curses? Invoke my lord's name again and at your peril. You will suffer no falsehoods. I speak only the truth. Put down your weapons, I beg you. Let us speak as friends and not shed blood in vain. If your claims were true, you'd be gladly sheaves our blades and embrace them as brothers. But since they must surely be false, you'd be traitors to accept our lives and those of our loved ones forfeit. Words are air. You will prove the truth of her tale on the battlefield or die in dishonor. No, no strangers to battle. That much is plain. I am the White. I am Hakuro, and I will be your opponent. How about you?
Well, if you are every bit the warriors who claim to be. You fought with honor and restraint. You could have killed my men and perhaps even me, but you did not. For this I thank you. Warriors brave and true, I pray you tell us of the Battle of Doma's liberation. We should be glad to do so. Lord Hien returned. Such joy this news brings us. But for Lord Gosetsu to perish in the keep's collapse, to be taken from us by such treachery, there is no justice. As forward Hakuru, he wished for no better death. You knew him well. I, you, he would not suffer us to mourn with so much undone, and so we will not. Duty comes before all. All Lupins shall know of Doma's liberation and of your part in it. When you breach the gates, we shall turn on the Imperials as one. With fang and claw shall we rip open the throats of our masters. This the White swears. Thank you. When our war is ended, I am certain that your lord will help us to return... Help us to return you all to Doma. Such a curious thing, Destiny, to see us meet with friends of Lord Hien in this distant corner of the world. But we shall not keep you. Your day is not yet done. Come, let us keep not keep our comrades waiting. We have a nation to liberate. I believe we got VO. VO standing for voiceover. It's the guild master of the Thaumaturge Guild. You are returned. Were your negotiations with the Wolfman successful? The one they called the White was receptive to our words once we told him of Doma's liberation. They withdrew behind the walls to inform their brethren. If the gods are good, no blood shall be shed between our peoples this day. Hear, hear! Now, I think it's time we did something about those gates. Forward! Give me hellfire! Give me Ifrit's bloody inferno! Now give me a curse in winter! Enough ice and snow to bury a behemoth! All cannons! Fire at will! Let no man say we neglected to knock! <laughs> My Eorzean brothers and sisters, Doma has come to pay her debts. Lord Hian! We will deal with the flying machines. Forward, my friends, for freedom and justice!
We're through. The way is clear. Now, Xenos, you're mine. Sorry, honey. I got a job to do. Keep him distracted, will ya? Impeccable time in those domains. Come, comrades! The enemy's gates are down! Forward! At long last, the end is in sight. The Battle of Alamigo is at hand. All forces have been ordered to advance into the city proper. I trust your unit of elite adventurers are ready, Essegos. Excellent. Your objective is to make haste for the castle and kill Xenos Ye Galvis. Any questions? Of course not. Now go and get the bastard. Come back to me. All right. So here's the decision to make. Do I try to speed this up by uh, queuing as a healer? Or should I... I'm going to queue as a healer. My healer's only level 70, so maybe this will help, help out. See, there we go. I'm not sure what he thinks of as smaller. Where, where is everybody? I put down that circle for a reason, and now he walked out of it. Oh.
I think we got a Highlander. I'm not sure what he is. Because he's all covered up. Maybe he's an Elizan? Although he may be a uh, Midlander. This is what I call bad luck. It's also one of those times where it's like, I feel like it's somebody being like, I don't want to do Alamigo. So, uh, a force quit program. <laughs> I don't know. It kind of felt like that first part was a little difficult, although I was able to give him cards. So, Speaking of which, uh, my uh, Astrologian uh, battle stance. I love it. Victory stance. All right. We waited about five minutes for him to come back, and he didn't come back. So uh, we're just calling that a DC for uh, book to dismiss. It's too bad. You're oh, welcome.
Yay! No, our heel. I did my divination wrong, but that's okay. It's fine. Just make sure he stands in the circle. There we go. Oh, shit. And doing pretty good in the healing healing front. to actually agree on that, but that's okay.
Uh, oh, no, that's actually, that's okay, that's okay. How's that for healing? And pass that off and pass that off because I don't need earrings. First, I get, I get the card on him as soon as we finish up the fight.
I don't even know why he spins the thing. Oh boy. Ugh. 
Uh, I like the, 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 the tank guy. Green. Uh, pass. Oof. Oof. I'll tell you this. The next step, I'm <laughs> doing his monk. You're insane, Z and OCA Galvis. Seems weird to do this in my astrologian gear. Because this really feels like more of well, fancy you. Should probably turn up the volume so you can hear him better. <laughs> Mayhap you are the true architect of our design. You who fought the very soul of vengeance to the edge and watched him fall. You who let slip the Alagon Hound to drive this icon into my arms. Oh. Why have I said too much? Forgive me, this sensation is wholly unfamiliar to me. Uh, it's probably because you're a psychopath. A question, then, and I should like very much for you to speak from the heart. If I were to stand aside, what would you do to this icon? Kill it. Ah, as simple as that. But of course, you are the Icon Slayer. Such certainty is to be expected. A pity. 
There is another alternative. Or there would be. Had you only mastered your ability. I speak of the Echo, of course. Does it merely render you immune to iconic influence? Or is it rather that your influence is far greater than theirs? Granted, these implications are of no moment to a savage who thinks only of killing the beast before him. But when I read Van Belsar's reports, I immediately saw the boundless potential of the Echo. I saw how it could be instrumental in binding an icon to one's will. Hence my research and the resonant. I know so much more. All icons must be exterminated, without exception. Such was the Imperial Mandate issued by my great-grandfather, after he saw firsthand the destruction wrought by one such being. They are a blight upon this star, he felt. And so he began his great and just crusade. Ha! It was not justice which spurred his campaign, but fear! Fear of the icons! Fear of their power! Cowardice made them march forth to battle. Pathetic. Man should fight for the joy of it. To live, to eat, to breed, lesser beasts snap and howl at one another for this. Only man has the wisdom and the clarity to embrace violence for its own sake. For we who are born into this merciless, meaningless world have but one candle of life to burn. I know you understand this. You and I are one and the same. Together, we could while away the quiet hours as friend and confidant. If you would accept me. Uh, you're an insane psychopath? I deny you. Don't get me wrong, they like punching people in the face. <laughs> and Not only when they call for it. So you be right. We are warriors. It was plain from the first how this would end. You live for these moments. When all hangs in the balance. When the difference between life and death is but a single stroke. I live for them too. This is who we are, my friend. This is all we are. Alamigo and Doma and Golemold be damned.
12 minutes. So I'm gonna see about grabbing some netherites. That's uh, an entrance. I'll tell before you hear afterwards, but since I got my Q time, uh, this is a flavor group to re enter. One hundred fifty ohms to the west. It is in that platform to figure out how to get there. Yeah, it's up there. Here it is. The intricate pathways and everything. Yeah. Oh, I'm going southwest. Go that way. VA wants me to go into the Alamegan quarter, that's why. I think.
I'm following a video guide. Oh, it's outside. Oof! Just noticed the queue is 30 minutes. <laughs> well, this gives me time to possibly uh, learn flying. 
hard, hard to wait because I think. Yeah, this has the last eighth of cards. I have to finish this to we get that. There's seven? Sixteen. I'm on the quest I I need to complete. Okay. So the video, he's standing right about here. So we're gonna travel through this. this I'm, I'm kind of lost <laughs> there's which which one is this this is it's a zoo out there you out there slay the zoo nestling Oh, uh, which is a pie. Up here.
Oof. Stay safe and regen. My health. Got to turn on the volume. I need the volume that high. Right now, I'm not really saying much, but I'm focusing on trying to get these ether currents. On the beach. What am I doing underneath the currents? Two more to go. Okay. Hmm. Uh...
There we go. Or the area so I can turn back. I just need to make sure I'm in the right spot. Nope. Long about way to get to here. And I think the other one's over here. Let's turn in one of the quests here. You know, one's right nearby. Thousand yomes. Oh, I know where it is, or general idea.
There it is. And with that, all the explore exploration ether cards are complete. But I have three quests left. One of them I am in queue for thirty minutes for. One of them I can turn in right now. Aha! Oh, nope. Vince! I wanted to close the map! And here we go. It's slow loading. Ugh. No! <laughs> Oh, yeah. No! Oh! Well, there it goes. <laughs> I'm not sure how good this will be because it's Ankh Morn. Hmm. 
<laughs> I think the dancer was just like, I'm screwed anyways. Mm. Mm. Uh, you're you're within melee. You don't have to do your range attack. See that circle? Yeah, probably go in the corner. Okay, we recovered. There we go. All right. I, everybody get a buff to healing. Oh, that died, died quickly. <laughs> this is a bit of a cluster. Oh, shit. I don't know where the best is. We'll, we'll go here. Follow the healers. Well, that was quick. I'm not even sure if I did any damage. All right. Those are too small for a field of our dads. Ooh. Cookie time. Uh, corner, 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 corner. The goon went totally the wrong place. Nice try. Oh, shit.
There we go. <laughs> it happens. Uh, I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him an an A. Okay, I mean he was a black mage. It's sorry, guys. Sorry, don't. Here's the thing: is if we didn't fully wipe and we won, don't be sorry. All right, I need to turn up the volume. That's my clap pack and we're going that. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. What about him? Zenos. <gasps> Still up. <laughs> the hunter has indeed become the hunted. And yet, there is only joy, transcendent joy that I have never known. How invigorating, how pure this feeling. Is that what this was all about? All the meaningless death and destruction, so you could feel something? Meaningless? Men die that others may live. Those who survive are stronger for it. Not that you could ever understand. To have stood upon this great stage of fools. To have played my part to perfection. Oh, this. This moment. Let it be enshrined in eternity. My heart beating out of time, so clear, so vivid, so real. Coward! Stop! Farewell, my first friend. My enemy. See, the problem is they couldn't, for some reason, they couldn't show a slit throat. Maybe that, they thought it was pushing the line, you know, they had the bloody mouth, etc. But uh, they don't have slip throat thing, and they weren't going to do something special. He's dead by his own hand. <sighs> then justice has been done. No, there's no justice in that. In that rabid animal's end. Liberty or death. That so many should be forced to take up this creed to defeat such madness. We won. Forget him. The living have need of us now. Stand tall, Lise. Now is the time to raise a cheer for all who fought for freedom. A cheer loud enough to carry to the highest heavens.
You're right. Thank you. Without you, well, you know. <laughs> so let's do it together. For Alamigo! Here, yeah, here. Yeah. It's a procession. Elise is in the lead. I'm not sure, but I think that Yol is uh, uh, Lisa's Yolo. In crimson it began, and in crimson it ended. And then, and then we were free. Truth be told, Stormblood, at least 4.0. Um, but what is freedom, really? Is all Lisa's story, which is kind of why she's the narrator. Unless. We may be free to live, to love, to grow old, to have dreams and desires, and to strive for them. But in the end, we're defined by the legacy our forefathers bequeathed to us. Even Xenos was once a baby in the cradle, innocent and pure. He was made into a creature that lived only for death, not born one. Twenty years of Imperial rule have left Alamigo torn and bleeding. It won't be easy to heal a generation's worth of wounds to bridge the gap. But I won't give up, Papalimo. I won't.
Just think if Papa Limo was able, would they be able to see her now? I think he would be proud. Giving up the name of Ida, returning to the regular because name. Original I name. remember the price of freedom. I remember the smoke, and the ashes, and the blood. I remember the screams, and the silence. And I'll do whatever it takes to honor their sacrifice, to build a home for us all. I promise you. This is the end. The end of the Imperial Province of Alamigo and the rebirth of Alamigo, the free nation. Long may she endure. Alright, so this is credits. I'm gonna skip over that. When the few cinematics I'm skipping over, because it's not really cinematic. Well, well, well. What a fine mess we've made. All but spent feeding that primal, eh? Well, you won't be making any mischief with that amount of ether. Still, better safe than sorry. There. There ends your hateful legacy. It's over. My condolences for your loss. The father should not outlive his son. What nonsense. You do not mourn his loss. He surprised me, your radiance. He was your son and heir. An irreplaceable test subject. I know what she was. Monsters are not made for thrones. Nor stars made to sustain folk. Gods who sup on their very essence. Icons summoned by the desperate savages who hearken to the whispers of shadowless charlatans. Should you raise a hand against my black road brethren, I will not stop you. My desires are one and the same. Preservation. Restoration. Compression. Resurrection. All is in the service of your one true God. 
And when the sundered shards are made whole, will there be a place for us mere mortals? Doubt my claims and question my motives, if you will, your radiance. You will come to trust me in time. Until then, mayhap you will find this reassuring. How? How dare you? We did it! We liberate Al liberated Alamigo. I don't know what to say. I don't even know how to feel about it. Relief, I suppose. Pride and hope, too. We did it, Father. Ida, Papalimo, Conrad, Mefren, and Philia. We really did it. Hey, don't feel like you had to stand here listening to me mumble. Everyone else will want to talk to you. You beat him, after all. You're the real hero of this story. So run along and take your plaudits. Uh, plaudits. Uh, I don't know. I, uh, I don't know what that means. For you to pass Zenos, even after she has harnessed the power of a primal, it is a testament to your ever-grown strength. No, no bitter to have, not bitter to have had your vengeance stolen from you by another? There's some small regret, perhaps, but this is outweighed by the satisfaction I find in his death. I commend you, Eskos. I should be all. Zenos was a monster and tyrant. Hey, Hakuru. Hey, remember that guy, the white... That we we briefly fought, he gets to talk to Yen. He now shows that Lord Yen was actually alive. Anyways, beside the point. As should we all, Zenos was a monster and a tyrant. The man who killed my father and countless others of my countrymen. The world is a better place without him in it. I should also praise Master Alfano for his foresight and restraint. Had he not intervened, I might never have had the, ch the pleasure of being reunited with Hakuru. Hikuro and his Lupin brothers. Twas a timely intervention, I. Full glad I am not to have been burdened with the guilt of killing my lord Hien's most trusted allies. Ha! Huh, indeed, my friend, indeed. Okay. I'm going to do a side trip. I'm going to go over here. The Yabbies. If I remember correctly, these are the Yabbies. There you are. Hey, where to? Ah, good. I was back, uh, back at Forge.
Because I have two quests that I need to, need to complete. Oh, there he is. Zula Tia. Uh, here's the uh, here's the yadis for you. Put them in this burlap sack that's big enough for me to carry. You know, Lalafel. There you are. Yeah, yeah. So I have goals coming up. Offline. I thought this was going to take longer than it ended up doing, but offline, I'm going to. Uh, See, collagen still at 70, so I need to get that too. But basically, I'm going offline's goal is to get my red mage to gunbreaker and astrology to 71. And then and or at least 70. And use them for post-game content in order to get them to at least 71. And then I might rotate through some post 70. Uh, post 70 me referencing um post-game in or or the patch content of Stormblood. So we just finished the four or we're finishing the 4.0 content. In the meantime, also getting Scavian gear, which if you look at my uh, Astrologen, all these are augmented Scavian gloves of healing, tasks of healing, shrouds of healing, of healing, of healing, of healing, but they're augmented Scavian. I can get uh, a gear for that. They're item level 400. Uh, I'm going to get an extra healing ring. I can get two of these, and then I can be at a total of 400. And hopefully by the time I accomplish all of that, we will hit... Uh, well, at least have all four of them at 71, and then I will be doing the Shadowbringer stuff. Is in the next expansion, mainly monk because that's what I do. And and offline, um, trying to keep my keep my uh, um, I, all all four. I'm try, gonna try to keep all four roles at the same level as best as possible. Besides the fact that I might shoot, depending on when I actually stream, to do the MSQ, because I'm always going to stream the MSQ and the roll quests, and keep those in line. line although the monk may be, end up being higher. But I have a, I have a plan. So, that, that's the current plan, is... Offline, catch up, catch up everything to seventy. Use use these the three other specs for the post game seventy. Once they hit seventy, when each of them hit seventy one, I'm gonna kind of like start rotating through them. So if I hit seventy two before I start doing the Shadowbringers content, I'm going going to hit the next one and basically funnel XP from the post seventy content into the the alternatives. So when I, if anything, I'll at least be seventy-one, if not seventy-two, uh, in monk uh, by the time um, I hit Shadowbringers content. So after we all we've been through, I really should know better than to worry. But as ever, the relief I felt upon finding you hale and whole in the royal menagerie, you well nigh reduced me to tears. The warrior of light, victorious again. Hmm, I should be surprised if some small part of you had not come to resent the title and the re responsibilities which accompany it. You must forgive us if we call you hero when you, when you accomplish heroic feats. But as the warrior of light goes, so goes the world. We should take pride in the good you have done and in the good you have inspired others to do. You are a natural-born leader of Meniscos. All the, these people aren't just following their commanders, they're, they were following you. And you led them to victory, to freedom. Alas, not everyone can see the journey through to, the, to its end, but history shall remember them and the glorious future they made possible. Okay, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to stay in Astrologen. 
uh, and do some XP funneling. Can you believe it? We won! We beat the bastards! Al amigo! Al amigo! <laughs> Sorry, got a bit carried away there, didn't I? Or not to, you know. We owe it to the friends who bury, bury, we buried to s shout and scream and cheer with all of our hearts. I want them to know it wasn't for nothing. Then that it's finally over and we can rest in peace. You you hear that, lads? You do you hear that, lads? We'll be all right. We'll we'll be oh bugger not again. I'm so I'm so bleeding happy I could cry. Hey, father-in-law. Here are the hour. I suppose it suppose we'll have to add Liberator to your titles. With their commander fallen, the remainder of the Twelfth chose to surrender to our forces. After twenty long years, it's official. The occupation is ended. And now the hard work starts. Though the people have had their fill of kings, there is no clear consensus on what sort of government they would prefer instead. Indeed, father, mo momentous as this this achievement may be, the road which lies before us is no less uncertain that the one than the one we have walked. Aye, aye. Yet if we can overcome two decades of oppression, I have no doubt that we can find a way forward. Thank you, Esther Ghost, for helping to make this dream a reality. Any, anything for my father-in-law? Back to Lise. Finish your rounds? Great. In that case, I'd like you to come with me back to Rago's Reach. Not for a rematch or anything, sadly. I want to call the silence together. I'll explain later. I, I don't even know where to begin. And cutscene. With VO, I, I believe. We've been through a lot together, haven't we? I can't thank you enough. There's something I need to say to you all. That is, if you have a moment. Good. You're all here. Good. Good. Thank you doesn't really suffice, does it? I'm grateful. Truly grateful from the bottom of my heart. But I know you didn't fight so hard just to hear me or anyone else say that. You fought because you wanted to help. Because you believed it was right. Because you're scions. Now, I'm obviously a scion, but... As Conrad left me in charge of things here, I also have responsibilities to Alamigo. When I put it like that, though, I realized I couldn't even pretend to be impartial anymore. So it seemed best to make it official. As long as I serve Alamigo, I can't be a scion. It might be selfish and short-sighted, but that's my decision. Am I to understand that you summoned us all, some of us still nursing wounds, to hear this? <laughs> oh, I, I, I didn't, um... <laughs> Forgive me, Lise. Twas but a jest. But this I say with the utmost sincerity, scion or no, we are comrades, now and ever after. Is that not so?
There you have it. Come what may, you may count on us in your hour of need. We shall never refuse you. Stola. Oh, gods. I swore I wouldn't cry. I'm like, we know you need it, need it here if we were gonna... It's not that bad, that big of a deal. We're still your friends. Come back here, you slippery little devil. Ah, to think fishing could be so difficult. What greater proof of a man's lingering mortality than an empty belly? A fate worse than death. To have arrived at the appointed place and time, only to survive by mere force of habit. Truly, the Kami are not finished with yet. Oh, capricious fortune. How you test me with this wretched soul. What's that, too? This is indeed the work of either Shinryu or Omega. Since there is undeniably something down there radiating a massive amount of energy, which cannot very well be the, the late Vasro's lap dragon. Yes, I think we have our suspect. Well, this is a mess of our own making, so it falls to us to clean it up. Won't be easy, but is it ever? And now comes the part where you say you've got no choice but to divert company resources and employees to this pet project of yours. Us profits and belligerent clients be damned. I, uh, financial considerations notwithstanding, you have to admit there is an unquantifiable benefit to giving our people the opportunity to study such an advanced technology. Oh, is that before or after you blow up and sit? Blow up or seal it away. Fine, fine. But the moment I judge this little venture as an unsustainable risk to the ironworks, mending it. Levy? And to keep you honest, using my authority as deputy president, I've gone ahead and brought in a consultant, a master engineer and mechanical genius. You did it! <laughs> Sid is like, <laughs> come now, you mustn't bu build their expectations so high, it'll be less dramatic than I surpass them. Oh, oh no, absolutely not. This is not happening. Nero Tolskeva. Eager to begin his first day as a loyal member of the Ironworks team. Looking forward to working with you, Garland.
<laughs> she just is like, yay! Everybody else is like, no! So fell the hunter, but what of the hound? So rose the children, but what of the father? The locks, aether, current, attunement, complete! Alright. What this shit? Okay. I need to fix my, uh... Hog. Okay, I got 1742 in, uh, credits. I'm gonna fly everywhere but here. Tombstone exchange! Hey! I need tombstone to, to spend tombstones for a pugilist. Um... Come on. Pugilist. On fuzz! I went too many inventory because I had too many weapons. What? Went into inventory. Discard. I don't want the Imperial stuff at all. Okay. Alright. Uh, um... I'm gonna start with left side. And I'll go top to bottom. This is why I wanted to bummer. <laughs> All right, recommended gear. I'm going to also remove glamour set plate because I want to keep it. You'll see. It, as we go, it will look fine. It, it will look better. There's weapons. Alright. Any more tombstones? Back to your idle fire. This is great. I completed this early enough that I can stop the stream. Oh, oh my god, I was doing three, yeah, I did three hours straight. Jeez. Alright, I think Red Mage was behind Grunbreaker, right? 47, 478, or 40, okay, cool. And my journal. Yeah, 500 tombstones and this. Here, I only got three levels. I'll probably go to the locks, do things. Offline stuff. Oh, I was able to do it over the weekend. I'm so surprised. Of course, I did it because I was dedicated today. Vlogs thing. Four different streams. I'll try to go to two and a half hours. Uh, I think I made up a half hour because I only did about two hours for, for the third part. 
So on average, it's about like 10 hours of streaming today. Oh shit. A lot. Okay. Well, that's it. That's it for today. Uh, I'm going to do offline stuff. I'm going to get headphones off my head. Probably making me really warm. I don't know. Anyways. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah. Leave a comment on YouTube. CubsOutLoud.com is the website for uh, all of our regular podcasts. Otherwise, YouTube.com slash CubsOutLoud for all your cup. Cubs Out Loud needs. Good night. Bye. 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 No, oh, Zazzle.com slash comes out loud, pa Patreon.com slash comes out loud, and PayPal.me slash comes out loud. There you go. There we go. That's the last one. Bye.